Today, we're diving deep into a topic that could potentially change the way you handle your finances forever, cultivating capital, the 10 Jewish habits for sustainable savings. Ever wondered how some people seem to effortlessly grow their savings while others struggle to make ends meet? Well, today we're unlocking the secrets to financial prosperity that have been passed down through generations. Ever heard of the concept of spending as if someone were watching? Think about it. How often do we make impulsive purchases without considering the long-term consequences? We'll be exploring why mindful spending isn't just about keeping tabs on your wallet, but about making choices that align with your values and financial goals. And hey, if you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck and ready to take control of your financial future, then this video is for you. We'll be sharing practical tips, inspirational stories, and actionable advice that you can start implementing today. So buckle up and get ready to revolutionize your approach to saving. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on what's coming next. All right, guys, let's dive into the first habit on our journey to sustainable savings. Viewing work as a means, not the end. Now, I know what you're thinking. Work, 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 right? But hold on. Let's flip the script a bit. Think about it this way. Work isn't just about punching the clock and collecting a paycheck. It's about finding purpose and fulfillment in what we do. Sure, money matters, but it's not the be-all and end all of our existence. It's about striking that balance between making a living and making a life. So instead of chasing after success like it's the golden ticket to happiness, let's focus on finding joy in the everyday moments. Whether it's pursuing a passion project, spending time with loved ones, or simply enjoying a good book, there's more to life than just the 9 to 5 grind. And here's the kicker. When we start to see work as a means to an end, rather than the end itself, something magical happens. We become more intentional about how we earn and spend our money. We start to prioritize what truly matters, whether it's saving for a rainy day or splurging on that dream vacation. So let's shift our perspective and embrace work not just as a means to earn money, but as a pathway to a richer, more fulfilling life. After all, life's too short to spend it all behind a desk. Let's make every moment count. Now let's dive into the art of spending mindfully. Imagine your wallet as a garden, and every dollar you spend as a seed you're planting. Now, you wouldn't want to just throw those seeds around carelessly, would you? No, you'd want to plant them strategically, nurturing them to grow into something beautiful and fruitful. Mindful spending is like tending to that garden with care. It's about being intentional with every purchase, considering whether it aligns with your values and goals. Just like how a gardener wouldn't sprinkle seeds on rocky soil. We shouldn't toss our money away on things that won't enrich our lives. Think of it as taking a stroll through a buffet. You wouldn't load up your plate with every dish in sight, right? No, you'd pick and choose the ones that look most appealing and satisfying. Similarly, mindful spending is about selecting the experiences and possessions that truly bring us joy and fulfillment, rather than mindlessly filling our carts with everything in sight. And just like how a chef carefully selects the finest ingredients for their signature dish, we should carefully select where our money goes. It's about quality over quantity, making sure each dollar is invested in something that adds value to our lives. So the next time you reach for your wallet, remember to treat it like a precious resource and spend with intention. After all, every dollar you invest wisely is like a seed planted in your own personal garden of abundance. All right. Let's talk about accepting advice and embracing humility. Picture this, you're navigating the labyrinth of personal finance and suddenly you hit a roadblock. It's tempting to rely solely on your own instincts, but here's where humility comes into play. By opening ourselves to the wisdom of others, we can find important insights that we might not have otherwise known. Imagine you're on a journey to master the art of sustainable savings and you stumble upon a treasure trove of advice from seasoned experts and wise mentors. Instead of brushing it off with a wave of arrogance, why not embrace it with humility? After all, humility isn't about self-deprecation. It's about recognizing that we all have room to grow and learn, especially when it comes to managing our finances. So as we navigate the maze of financial decisions, 
let's remember to keep our ears open and our egos in check. Whether it's seeking guidance from trusted friends, family members, or financial advisors, there's immense value in humbly accepting advice and incorporating it into our saving strategy. And speaking of strategy, let's circle back to our main theme, Cultivating Capital, the 10 Jewish Habits for Sustainable Savings. There it is, nestled snugly in the heart of our discussion. Just as the Jewish tradition emphasizes the importance of humility and learning from others, so too does it provide us with a roadmap for achieving financial prosperity. So, let's continue on our journey, armed with humility and an open mind, as we explore the remaining habits for cultivating capital and building a brighter financial future. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. Now let's dive into the exciting world of exploring saving opportunities. Think of it like a treasure hunt, but instead of gold doubloons, we're hunting for ways to grow our savings. Now some people might sit back and wait for saving opportunities to magically appear, but not us. Oh no, we're proactive. We're on the lookout for ways to beef up our bank accounts, and we're not afraid to roll up our sleeves and do a little digging. So, what exactly do these saving opportunities look like? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes. From budgeting tricks to investment strategies, there's a whole buffet of options to choose from. Maybe you've heard whispers about the wonders of compound interest, or perhaps you're itching to dip your toes into the stock market. Whatever your flavor, the key is to stay curious and open-minded. Now I know what you're thinking, but where do I even start? Fear not, my friends, for the world is your oyster. Start by taking a good hard look at your current financial situation. Are there areas where you could trim the fat and save a few bucks? Maybe it's time to ditch that pricey gym membership you never use or cut back on those daily trips to the coffee shop. Once you've identified some potential areas for savings, it's time to get creative. Think outside the box and don't be afraid to get a little adventurous. Whether it's exploring new income streams or discovering the joys of DIY home repairs, there's no shortage of ways to pad your piggy bank. So get out there, explore those saving opportunities, and watch your bank account flourish. Remember, fortune favors the bold, so don't be afraid to take a few risks along the way. All right, let's dive into the world of earning income with integrity. Meet Sarah, a hardworking barista with a heart of gold. Now, Sarah's job may not be the most glamorous, but she takes pride in her work and serves up the best darn lattes in town. One day, Sarah notices something peculiar. A co-worker is sneaking a few extra dollars from the cash register when no one's looking. Now Sarah could easily turn a blind eye and pocket some cash herself, but that's just not her style. Instead, she decides to stick to her principles and earn her income the honest way. She knows that every dollar she earns through her job is a reflection of her integrity and hard work. Sure, it might mean tightening her belt a little bit more. But Sarah believes that the satisfaction of knowing she's earned her keep is worth more than any quick buck. Think of it like tending to a garden. Just like Sarah carefully nurtures her plants to bloom, she tends to her income with the same level of care and attention. She knows that by staying true to herself and her values, her financial garden will flourish in the long run. Now let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture. Earning income with integrity isn't just about making ends meet, it's about building a foundation of trust and respect in everything we do. Whether we're flipping burgers or crunching numbers, our integrity is our most valuable asset. So next time you're faced with a tempting shortcut or a shady deal, channel your inner Sarah and choose integrity. Because in the end, it's not just about the money we make, but the legacy we leave behind. Now let's talk about that tricky little devil known as temptation. You know the feeling, you walk past your favorite store, see something shiny, and suddenly your wallet is out quicker than you can say, impulse buy. But fear not, because we've got some tricks up our sleeves to help you resist those temptations and keep your savings on track. First off, it's all about being aware of your triggers. Maybe it's a certain aisle at the grocery store, or a flashy advertisement that catches your eye. Once you know what sets off your spending impulses, you can steer clear and avoid those situations altogether. It's like dodging a bullet before it even comes your way. Next up, let's talk about setting some boundaries. Think of it like putting up guardrails on the road to financial ruin. Set yourself a budget and stick to it like glue. 
When you know exactly how much you can spend, it's a whole lot easier to resist the urge to splurge on unnecessary stuff. Plus, it's empowering to know that you're in control of your finances. And if all else fails, try distracting yourself. Call up a friend, go for a walk, or dive into a hobby. Anything to take your mind off that impulse to spend. Sometimes all it takes is a little distraction to break the spell of temptation. So remember, it's not about depriving yourself of life's pleasures, but rather making mindful choices that align with your financial goals. Now let's talk about prioritizing current needs. Imagine this, you're at the grocery store, eyeing that fancy new blender that promises to make the smoothest smoothies. It's tempting, no doubt. But before you toss it into your cart, ask yourself this, do you really need it right now? See, that's the thing about prioritizing our current needs over our future wants. It's all about making smart choices with our hard-earned cash. Sure, treating ourselves is important, but so is making sure we're taking care of the essentials first. Think about it like this. If your car needs new brakes, it's probably not the best time to splurge on a luxury vacation. And I get it. We live in a world that's constantly bombarding us with shiny new things to buy. But here's the thing. Just because something looks cool doesn't mean it's a smart purchase. Before you swipe that credit card, take a moment to ask yourself if this purchase aligns with your current needs and financial goals. Remember, it's okay to treat yourself every now and then. But when it comes to managing our money, it's important to be mindful of where our priorities lie. So before you make that impulse buy, take a step back and think about whether it's really worth it in the long run. All right, let's talk about finding that sweet spot between enjoying life and keeping our finances in check. You see, when it comes to our money, it's all about balance. Sure, we want to enjoy the finer things in life, but we also want to make sure we're not overspending and jeopardizing our savings goals. You know, it's like walking a tightrope. On one side, we have indulgence, treating ourselves to nice dinners, vacations, and those little luxuries that make life enjoyable. And on the other side, we have restraint, making sure we're not going overboard and putting ourselves in a financial bind. Now, I'm not saying we should deprive ourselves of all the good stuff. That's no fun at all. But what I am saying is that we need to be mindful of how much we're spending and whether it aligns with our long-term financial plans. Think of it this way. Every dollar we spend on unnecessary splurges is a dollar that could have been saved or invested for the future. So it's important to strike a balance between enjoying life today and securing our financial future tomorrow. And speaking of securing our financial future, let's circle back to our main topic, cultivating capital, the 10 Jewish habits for sustainable savings. Remember, these habits aren't just about penny pinching and scrimping. They're about building a solid foundation for financial wellness that allows us to enjoy life to the fullest while still achieving our savings goals. Now let's talk about hard work and persistence. You see, when it comes to building up our savings, there's no substitute for good old-fashioned hard work and persistence. It's like that saying goes, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And trust me, there's some real truth to that. Let me share a story with you about someone who embodies the spirit of hard work and persistence. Ever heard of Walt Disney? Yeah, the guy behind Mickey Mouse and all those beloved characters. Well, before he became a household name, Walt Disney faced numerous setbacks and failures. Did you know he was once fired from a newspaper job because he lacked creativity? But did he give up? Nope. Instead, Disney kept pushing forward, dreaming big and working tirelessly towards his goals. He faced rejection after rejection, but he never let that deter him. And eventually, his persistence paid off big time. Today, Disney is not only a household name, but a global entertainment empire worth billions. Now, I'm not saying we all need to become the next Walt Disney, but his story serves as a powerful reminder that success doesn't come easy. It takes dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to keep going, even when the going gets tough. So let's channel our inner Disney and keep pushing forward, one step at a time. All right, let's talk about something truly heartwarming, the joy of giving. Picture this, you've got a warm smile on your face as you extend a helping hand to someone in need. That feeling, that's the joy of giving, my friends. And let me tell you, it's like nothing else in the world. Now, giving isn't just about writing a big check or making grand gestures, though those are awesome too. 
It's about those little acts of kindness that can brighten someone's day and make a real difference in their life. Whether it's volunteering at a local shelter, donating to a worthy cause, or simply lending a listening ear to a friend in need, every act of giving counts. And here's the beautiful thing. When we give, we don't just make the world a better place for others. We also enrich our own lives in the process. It's like magic, really. The more we give, the more abundance we attract into our own lives. It's a win-win situation, guys. Plus, there's something incredibly fulfilling about knowing that we've made a positive impact in someone else's life. It's like a warm hug for the soul, reminding us of our interconnectedness and the power we have to uplift one another. So let's not forget the importance of giving back. Whether it's through our time, our talents, or our treasure, let's continue to spread kindness and generosity wherever we go. After all, as the saying goes, it's not about how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. And that's a wrap on our journey through the 10 Jewish habits for sustainable savings. From mindful spending to the joy of giving, we've covered it all. Remember, financial wellness isn't just about the size of our bank accounts, but the quality of our lives. So let's continue to cultivate capital, one mindful decision at a time. Remember, the purpose of this video is to broaden your horizons in the realm of investing. It's not about handing you a ready-to-eat financial meal, but about teaching you how to cook one yourself. Investing comes with its share of risks and uncertainties, so it's crucial to wear your research hat and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. Keep in mind, past performance in investments is like last year's weather forecast. It doesn't necessarily predict what's going to happen tomorrow. Always weigh the risks and tread carefully when putting your hard-earned money at stake. If you found this video helpful, there's more where that came from. Now, if you want to learn the frugal lifestyle and saving methods of Jewish people, I recommend you watch this video next. Thank you for joining us today. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your engagement is like applause for our efforts, and it motivates us to bring even more valuable content your way. So feel free to drop a comment below. I appreciate your support and I see you in my next video.